Want to know what the slowest healing bone in your body is? Hi everybody, this is Michelle from Virtual Hand Care, your online hand expert. In this video, I thought I would do just a quick little hand nerd type of video where we talk a little bit about the slowest healing bone in your body. And that bone is located in your wrist. And it actually is your scaphoid bone. That little bone is a, one of eight carpal bones that are in your wrist. So you can palpate your scaphoid on your body. If you lift your thumb up, you've got your two tendons that cross right here. And actually in between that area, that's where your scaphoid is supposed to be at. And they kind of use that as a provocative test that if you're real tender in that area when you push, in the anatomical snuff box, then it could be a little suspicious for a scaphoid fracture. Uh, you can also palpate it right here when you kind of move that wrist back and you can feel a part of your scaphoid tubercle. And if you push on that area and it's very tender, well, then that could be indicative maybe of a scaphoid fracture. So what makes the scaphoid so slow to heal? Well, the biggest reason is because of the blood supply. Now, normally how you get a scaphoid fracture is you fall in an outstretched hand and you can get a, a distal radius fracture. So sometimes you miss the scaphoid and actually your distal radius will take the brunt of the ground and will fracture. Sometimes you can get both fractured, sometimes the radius is spared, and then unfortunately the scaphoid is what is fractured. And with that trauma, it actually can disrupt the blood supply, but also the bone itself does not have a good blood supply. It just has like one blood vessel to provide blood flow to that whole bone. They classify the area of where your fracture is at in three different locations. And that is the, the distal pole, the waist, and then also the proximal pole. So the distal pole would be the part of the scaphoid that is the furthest away from you. So closer to the thumb, the waist of course would be the center of the bone and then the proximal bone is a little bit farther closer to your body and the reason why scaphoids take so long is because that blood supply actually um, instead of going this way into the bone it actually comes up and goes down it actually comes from the radial artery in our palm and actually the blood supply comes down this way from the uh, distal pole down through the waist and then down into the proximal pole well as you can imagine if there's a fracture down into the proximal pole so that part of the scaphoid well the blood supply is not so good down there right it's better in the the distal part because that's where the blood supply first starts and then as it goes down then then it's um, not as good to have the waist fracture and then not as good then to have the fracture being farther down into the proximal pole of the scaphoid. Now, I don't wanna make these sound like they're a, a scary fracture in the wrist. But the majority of them do very well. However, they take a long time to heal. Now, you may have to be in a cast for well over eight weeks. Sometimes they can even take 12 to 14 weeks to really heal. Sometimes on occasion, depending on where the fracture is at in the scaphoid, and if there is displacement of the bone, then sometimes surgery is definitely needed or else it could lead to a more advanced type of arthritis and um, pain and deformity in the wrist. So it's definitely not something that should be neglected. Now about 60% of the fractures in our carpal bones happen at the scaphoid. One thing also that is a little tricky with the scaphoid fracture is that it's not always seen on an x-ray. If you're having persistent swelling, if you're having pain with uh, wrist circumduction, if there's pain with resisted pronation as well, there's a few things that a, a doctor would definitely be able to do as well as order uh, perhaps a CT scan or something else to see if, if you really do have a scaphoid fracture. And that way you can really see where it is at and get the right treatment for you. So the next time you're asked this trivia question, what is the slowest healing bone in your body? You're going to say, 
scaphoid. <laughs> and you're gonna know exactly where it's at, right in the wrist. Now, if you liked this type of video, do please give it a like, and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. Thanks for watching.